Hello everyone. Last time we joined Draka and Fral all the way into Desmo Terran, making our position within the mall just a little bit more secure. We're also taking out Vyres and banishing Helja back to Helheim. But the jailer has many different allies, some of them better hidden than others. Champions, quickly. We must stop the Primus before it is too late. Nathrazim scum! You cannot deceive the House of Eyes. There are dreadlords among us, Nafrazim in league with the Jailer. Something that we have seen before, as we unknowingly aided them with the kidnapping of Fae's Cry Vrokalo, where once it was said that the dreadlords just come from the domain of disorder, from the Twisting Nether. They've now added that they actually originally come from the Shadowlands and have then infiltrated this domain. Among the Venfir, there is one, the Stone Rite, who hates the Nafrazim with a passion. She is the last of the harvesters that the Venfir need to recruit, so there's plenty of reasons to fly on over to Revendreth. Even Vush gets to come along, reuniting with her old pal, Kilfa Sunstrider. Ah, Kelfos. I see the accuser has let you out of your cage. I am no pet to be commanded. You would do well to remember that. Vush and Kilfus were allies in life, serving Lord Illidan, but where one remained loyal and true until the bitter end, the other decided to ally with the Burning Legion instead. We are here to hunt and destroy dreadlords. Try not to join them this time. But Kilfus has been spending a whole lot of time with the Accuser, atoning for his sins, making great progress, reflecting on his life. He's been given permission to join us on the mission today. While well, the Accuser does wonder if it's wise not too soon to do so, Lady Vash could be quite a bad influence. Why were you sent to Maldraxxus, Vash? You have no shortage of sins. And no shortage of victories. Can you say the same? If you sin, make sure you win. We speak with Renaval at Dawnkeep, where we've left Sire Denefrius imprisoned within his blade Remornia. The Leidenaru is keeping him contained, but his influence is far from gone. On top of that, the curator wants us to notify her that the Naru's continued presence in their realm of their own free will, it may lead to the manifestation of her very own Sinstone. While hardly a common occurrence with entities from other planes of existence, she may wish to conceal such an item if it materializes to avoid any past indiscretions from being used against her. Do really wonder what kind of indiscretions a Naru might have. Now the news of the Dreadlord's return meaning that Renafal was fully aware that they originate from Revendreth. It has him rather shocked and disappointed. I dared not imagine they would ever grow so bold again. A shame they have not learned in their exile, and return to us as enemies instead of family. Countless ages ago, just after the first Venthyr was sired, Denathrius unveiled another creation, the Nathrazim. Forged to be the ultimate infiltrators, they bore the influence of death into the realms of our rivals, as well as the worlds of the living. Despite their subtlety, one of these incursions was discovered. In response, the full wrath of the Light fell upon Revendreth, setting ablaze the ward once held by the Nathrazim. Once the Naru were routed, the Stone Rite turned her anger upon the Nathrazim, blaming them for the loss of so many of her children. The armies of Maldraxxus did not rise up to defend us, so the Stone Rite carved her Stone Legion to strike back against the Light. The conflict was ended by Denathrius, who said he would exile them to a world beyond the Shadowlands. Denathrius never told me what became of the Nathrazim. Only later did I learn that mortal souls had come to know them by another name, the Dread Lords. Finally, it's fully revealed why the Amber Ward is suffering that constant scrutiny of the light. The reason being the infiltration from the Shadowlands from Revendreth into their domain. It caused their war, and I like to imagine that the Primus that he was aware of this, aware that the Nephrius kicked the hornet's nest himself. And that that's the reason why they didn't rise to their defense. I have my as many dear Stone Rite, 
harvester of wrath, wielder of Mother of made wall, how have you been, my child? Mother of stone, you honor me with your concern. I am well. Impressive. Considering Denathrius had you beheaded, after casting Renathal into the Maw, reveal yourself, infiltrator! Always so clever. Only, I am not the infiltrator. I am the distraction. Now, seize the medallion! Remove the interlopers! Uh-oh. The Medallion of Roth is in the hands of the Dreadlords now, and we kinda need it to craft a new sigil for the Fenfear. Time to get to work, with Kilfas and Vush at our side. Her special technique of revealing who's a Dreadlord, that's done with the Orb of Revelation. That means that Vush didn't necessarily have to come here herself. I'm a big fan of the idea that she just really wanted to see Kilfas again for good old times, have themselves a little reunion. Illidan would have relished this. What fate do you suppose was chosen for him? You assume he is both dead and mortal. I am not sure either is true. But fair enough, the orb does let us quickly cleanse the infiltrators. And then it's onwards to Nelragas and the medallion. A harvester without a medallion? You are but a shadow of your former fury. I wield more than enough fury to deal with you. Renafal wasn't able to finish the sentence, but now it's clear for all to see. The stone ride has the capability of wielding the powers of a loon. To think I was once allied with these fiends. Is that a hint of remorse? How unlike you. Your stoneborn cannot find us all. We are everywhere. Continue to delay our foes. The plan nears fruition. So far, the Dreadlords that have showed up, they're rather new. Even female variations now. But here we see that none other than Melganis is involved. Key player in guiding Arthas along his road of damnation. To then eventually become the Lich King. But I do wonder if they can make all these new puzzle pieces fit the old story. Last time that we saw Melganis, not counting his Legion cameo on the Broken Shore, that was during Wrath of the Lich King. He warned us that without his forces, we would never be able to take care of the Lich King. He would have his revenge on the Lich King and on us, but we secured a victory on our own, and that storyline, it never really continued. Until now, I suppose, guiding this operation, instructing Nelragas. There is no possibility of victory. The rest of you make us sinful. I want that medallion back, and Malganus's head on a spike. Renafal isn't happy with what's going on. The Nafrezim, they may not be Vanveer, but nor were they crafter from souls. In many ways, they are more his siblings than his fellow Vanveer, as he was also not created from a soul, he was willed into being by the Nefrius. Still, we have to imagine that he got more agents working on his job. They might have infiltrated Simfal itself, so... We grab the secret communication methods and we investigate the members of our covenants. See ya. We are a long way from Silithus. Hunters that have played classic and have gone for the epic bow. You will be quite familiar with Solanar the Slayer. Disguised as Nelson the Nice, he was one of their targets to take out to earn their sweet epic rewards. And then we also take out Lady Kistranov and Lady Meltranix. Displeased with my prices? <laughs> A very nice touch is that from the beginning of 9.1, demon hunters out there, you already had the opportunity to spot this infiltration with your spectral sight. The Dreadlords have been working their scheme for quite a bit, as the Stone Knight reveals by translating their cryptograms. They don't seem to be making much sense though. The assumption was that they've been planning to steal her medallion, to deny a new sigil of the Fenfear, but it would appear that their designs go far beyond that. Lady Meltronix, the one that we just killed. I charge you with securing information regarding the assets. We must know both of the security and maintenance of the assets location. Kissed it enough. Another one that we just revealed. Stall them. Find any way and how to slow the advancing power of the Mallwalker and their allies. If there's a way to choke their economy, do so. If there's a way for supplies to go missing, make it happen. 
Melragas, the one that took the medallion first. Do not kill Renafal. I know you will be tempted, but we still need him, and his death would upset the master. Jenov, be mindful of the forces being sent to the Ma. If Sinfall is foolish enough to distribute forces into that place, you must find a way to infiltrate them and ensure their defeat. Talia Troven, infiltrate the dredgers. Get to know them. They can go places most cannot. Mofralan, search the archives. Sinfall is home to ancient knowledge, and you must learn of what happened to Kifratan. She's been lost to us for long enough. It is time we recovered her. Solanar, the one we just revealed. I want a detailed log of all people's entering or leaving Sinfall. Frequency, guard rotation, and so on. Most importantly, watch the dredgers. We will need them for the final stage of the plan. Safrovar, who you might remember from fighting in the Sunwell Plateau, as he possessed Caligos. Get out of there now. Your identity is about to be discovered. Sibiu walks the halls of Sinfall once again, and she will remember the smell of your aura. Leave before it is too late, but avoid arousing suspicions. Fake your death if you must. Melganus, yours shall be the greatest challenge. Infiltrate Renafal's inner circle. Walk side by side with our brother and ensure he comes to no harm. Endear yourself to the Azerothians and allay their suspicions. When the time is right, we will give you the honor of revealing my plan to Renafal. Devarak, whose last major scheme, it involved infiltrating the SI-7 during Legion and got his ass kicked by the Rogue Order Hall. If you fail us again, I will personally flay you. When Morgana springs his trap, you are responsible for recovering the asset. Do not fail me. This is the Master's final order, and I will see it executed correctly. Meaning that there's someone beyond Melganis handing out the orders for this operation. And this asset, considering that they already possess the necklace, it must be something else. Another interesting bit to point out, that is about Sibyl. The Ash Ghoul that guided us to Tiatar back during our first questing in the Amber Wards. It is speculation, but when we check out the notes about the stone rite, we learn from Renaval that the stone rite is untouchable. Not even our stoneborn forces would dare raise a talent against her. What is worse is that she is one of the first Venfeer, like myself and a curator. She was not made from a soul, but willed into being by the Nephrius himself. No sinstone, no mortal trappings or past deeds will bend her to our will. If she is unwilling to provide us her medallion, we stand very little chance of recovering it. But it seems like Renaval is mistaken, as the curator adds, Renaval, you're confusing the stone rites with the original Harvester of Rav. She still exists, but had her power stripped and given to the stone right long ago. So, a original harvester, stripped of their powers, handed over to the current stone rites. If memory serves, the stone right was the first Venfeir forced of a mortal soul to assume the role of a Venfeir. She did horrible things in life in the name of protecting her people. Details on that will be revealed at a later time. I have not seen the original harvester of Ra for a few epochs. Now, could it be that Lady Sibyl is that original Harvester of Rav that they're talking about? Familiar with the Nafrazim, familiar with Safrovar. It would be interesting in my opinion, but time is going to tell. Seeing how the Dreadlords are up to no good right now, let's follow that trail of Rav to find Rav. Reveal yourself, Malganis! The Harvester of Rav. How I have missed your purity of conviction. A pity it will now be lost forever. Nathrazim, bring me her fangs. We fight with Gorgonon and Diaphorus until Melganis himself joins the fight. In the back, you can see Terra Vangelis, but also Lady Kifriton. Apparently, Mofrelan's research of the archives. It was successful. Melganis, we need not be enemies. Join us to save Revendreth and end your we exile. We were never in exile, you gullible fool. It was all part of the Master's plan. <laughs> While you remained fixated on a paltry medallion, we seized the true prize, Remornia, with the Sire's essence held within it. Our mission never changed. For eons, we have done the Master's bidding in secret across countless realities. 
the Scourge, Argus. All forms in a game beyond your grasp. One that now nears its end. Keep your trinket and your realm. They are dust in the face of our sire's true ambition. If only you had just obeyed. I've had a lot of people ask how all of this works, with like the Dreadlords or Kalfuzad actually working for the Jailer all along. I'm of the mindset that when you start altering the foundation of a story, it starts to become a bit wobbly, yet you can give a spin to it. You can fit the new pieces of the puzzle, like Melganus for example, he was pissed at Arthas, and back then that was because Arthas had struck him down, that Ner'zhul was able to betray the Legion's plans. Now we know that Ner'zhul and Arthas, they were failed heralds of the Jailer. They were like his plan A and maybe his plan B and they failed him. So was Melganus pissed about that part all this time? Was he pissed about them not working towards what the Jailer wanted? Now making things retroactively fit, it's a bit wonky. But in this moment we've discovered that the Dreadlords, they truly have been sired here in Revendreth. They've infiltrated other cosmic domains, and the banishment that the Nefri has imposed upon them, it was no true banishment at all. Schemes behind the scenes. Now they've come back for their master, their true sire. The one that was pretty much left to his fate by the Jailer. No rescue mission happened, despite Sylvanas asking for one. So now we have to wonder how the Nefrius feels towards the Jailer. Will he, like Sylvanas, turn away from the Jailer now? Definitely a potential, especially when you keep in mind that the whole reason that they're giving the Nefrius a bigger part to play, that is due to the popularity amongst the player base, similar to what they've done with Ponsam D. Now more the Nefrius and Dreadlord story in the future, I'm certainly down for that. For now, we're going to finish things up here. The Venver, they have their final harvester and their final medallion, which means that they can reforge their sigil. <laughs> Once more, we have to wonder if this takes place before or after the raid, and I once again imagine that this plays out before the Sanctum of Domination. The Stone Rite tells us that she's taken Melganus into custody and securing Dominance Keep from outsiders. We do well to avoid that place for a time, then she'll bring her forces to bear on Corfia. But it's still vital that we extract as much information from Melganus as we can, and Renafal's methods are kinda soft compared to hers when she's done with him. Renefal can have Melganus back for whatever atonement he believes a Dreadlord capable of, but not before she's done with him. So yeah, plenty of storyline still to be continued. But for now, you're up to speed on what happened in the campaign for this week. So thank you very much for watching everyone. Subscribe if you like my videos, leave a like if you enjoyed this one, and until next time, see ya!